I'd like to see some pair of tits, am I right, girl? Now recording. Hi, guys. I'm here on the podcast hosted by Matt Pitt, edited and produced by Toxic Piplup. I don't really know what Beavers does, and Core's just here for fun. We're on episode number nine? Yes. Yes. Okay, great. Fuck you, want nudes, pay me. Fuck you, homie. All right. Hello, you pretentious cunts. We got Liana here. Hi, Liana. Everyone's favorite. Uh, Hi. How you been? Just being a little mouse. I discovered that I was Jerry, not Tom. Who? Uh, oh. oh. Yeah. Okay. I think mean, life. Um, you know when you grow up watching Tom and Jerry and you always love Tom? You hated no. Jerry? Turkey Tom? <sighs> no, I hate Tom. Turkey Tom. I hate all the Toms. What Tom, about Tom and Dari? Jerry. Isn't that the same person? What about Tommy C? All right. Let's uh let's start with the timeline here, okay? Wait, that was my question. Wait. What? what do you Foxy, you can't C? you can't do the intros, right? And then have no fucking direction. You're not taking it anywhere. Well, Beavers, I didn't do the intro, you retard. <laughs> we had Leon oh. the intro. Okay, well I disconnected, so sorry audience. Uh toxic continue. So what do you think about Tommy C? Love the guy. I'm not in love with him, but <laughs> Oh. What'd you well, fuck what, him? Like, I think he's great. Love his work. What led you to spam his DMs like? Okay. Imagine coming from Tipster's server where it was like there was all these moderation rules and like you couldn't even post something somewhere without being moderated like with a warning. So like I got sick of all the politics on Discord. So eventually he nukes his server. So I'm like, where do I go, kitten? Fantastic. Please tell me where I go. And I said, I was in Tommy C's server, but they were all were very scary people. Um, before the paid and unpaid server happened, this is when he just had a normal server. So she's like, just join Tommy C's server, it's fine. There's paid and unpaid. Like, you know what? I will, because I do like Tommy C. At first, when I did watch Tommy C, I thought he was a fucking idiot. But only because I was a H3 simp. Okay. So, like, I didn't know, like, the history of from 2016 or however you would frame commentary so i was like okay tommy c seems cool you can talk to him um and then i come into the server and people are still like you can't say that to tommy c don't 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 call in liana don't you're gonna get banned I'm like huh so then like um eventually i'm like that's it don't tell me what i can't say to someone i'm fucking drunk i'm gonna call in and ask for the fuckhead role. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, oh, he didn't literally mean call in and ask for it. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, you can blame Matt for that one. Bad advice. <laughs> no, well, what I meant was to you, to become fuckhead, you just got to become a regular. So you got to call in a lot and like talk about stuff. <laughs> so, but, I, but that's not what you said, Matt. That's what not what I you say? said. What I was I there. What did I say? Right? <laughs> you said, if you want the shot, the fuckhead role, you got to call in. That, yeah, that is what right. you said. Yeah, that's what, what, exactly what you said. And okay. I can see how some innocent person like Liana could have <laughs> misconstrued that. I'm not innocent. You're not. It's a, are you I'm taking, help you, Liana. Are you taking full accountability, Liana, about your, yeah. uh, of your act? Like full I mean, everything? At the beginning, yeah, I was innocent. But after a few months, like a month and a half of this Discord shit, I'm like, you know what? Fuck you guys. And it wasn't you any of you people it was four females that kept directing me in like the go away direction when i wanted to be the fuckhead direction <laughs> like and i was one of those females i'm counting there was four of us what they were trying to direct you away from what yeah i kind of felt i kind of felt like there was some jealousy and i don't want to say that because i don't know but from my perspective it felt like a lot of jealousy because there were some girls that were too scared to call in. And they were only a part of the show in the after show. Yeah. You know? And I feel like if you want it, don't give me advice on shit I've done before. I used to be a part of a podcast, like a wrestling podcast with Kevin Scampoli. Who? Like, you know TWFS? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we, li <laughs> yeah, they tried to fuck with Adam Lampede. So, um... Like, I've been here before and done this. It's just not the level of Discord, um, like, aliases. So when I asked questions, it was never anything malicious. So that in itself, I can understand 
why I look stupid asking stupid questions, but genuinely from the bottom of my heart, it was never meant to be a sort of doxing situation. But I took it a little bit too far when I was sort of accused of something I wasn't doing at the time. And then you decided, well, then I'll just do it? Well, nothing I've really done can be defined as doxing, right? I dox uh, myself. Uh, we've, we've argued about this, and I kind of, I said, like, look, you didn't give full names, right? You didn't give addresses. But the names they gave me were fake, according to them. Right, but you, you did say occupation. You did say I can, I believe one of your wordings was, you're this and you're that. I could totally find you if I wanted to. Or something of that nature, which was, that, that was kind of, that was a bit much, don't you think? Well, yeah, I was pretty fucking high. Oh, okay. I mean, fair enough. Let's circle back a bit, all right? So I won't blame the drugs, Matt, totally. Like, I was fucking angry, but I felt yeah. so... I felt totally betrayed, and I, retribution was on my mind, but maybe my mind was not in a good place. <laughs> yeah, an exact wording. Let's circle back a bit, all right? Let's go back to when this happened, right? Yeah. Uh, all, all this shit went down. You go, yeah. you go into the free server, you argue with Dav, right? And then at that at some point And I get in the voice I, chat and eviscerate her and then it was like But oh. I just I wanna make you understand something. At that point, a lot of the people in the server were on your side. It wasn't about sides to me at that point. Okay. Well fair enough. But I get you me and Core get you like in a private chat to talk to you mm-hmm. in voice and we say just drop like drop it, like chill out. Mm-hmm. And, and I like, was crying. I was like having a panic attack. Yeah. And you cried and you stuff. But you said, you said like, yo, okay, I'll, we'll drop it. The moment you leave, you go right back into the free server and it starts because up again. It's still a discussion. Like it, like it was, <sighs> the problem I had, Matt, was more so she didn't approach me. And that was not on your decision to be made because she could have said to me privately before they bro- blocked me, you know, Liana, you've said this, this, and this to this person. I want to know what's going on. And it would have never had to be made public because, as you guys said, it was outside of the server. Yeah. So they're the ones who brought it to the server. That's the thing that pissed me off because it was like, why do I have to fight for these people who don't even know me and will accuse me because I ask fucking stupid questions? Yeah, maybe I was fucking high. But at the time, like, I was so focused on my own life if they're calling me at 2.30 in the morning when I really do want to fucking sleep, like, for one night, and they're making up stories to see if I'll admit it, and then when they call me out literally the same day, like, 12 hours later, it's like, oh, well, you just fucking said it. I'm like, well, what are you fucking doing? Like, I literally didn't – it was never about what I was doing. It was more about how they were paranoid in my perspective. Well, let's 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 talk about that. So they – they were trying to basically get you on something, so they created a fake story to see if you talk about someone, talk yeah, about one of to, them behind their back. They were trying to get a gotcha moment on me, and it didn't work because if you're calling me out for what I'm doing, how would the gotcha moment work if you've called me out for something I'm not doing? You know. So you didn't go behind their back and talk about them? No. Imagine if, okay, Matt. Imagine if I said to you, you know, I'm moving to South Africa, Beavers and I are getting married, but don't say anything to toxic. I'm jealous. Yeah. And then it's, Soon as hey. as soon as we get into an argument because you don't trust um like as soon as you call me out for lying, right? Yeah. You turn around and say, Oh, well, you just said that you're going to marry Beavers in front of a whole audience. What would you want yeah. me to do? Like how would you what would you do? Yeah, I uh, I don't know. I, I, just... I never I never understood that honey trap, right? It yeah. didn't because me because like I no. Didn't get it. It didn't make sense. Well, the reason that it didn't make sense, right, is so... So, before everything came out, right? Mm-hmm. And everything happened, you guys were supposedly friends, right? Yeah, yeah. And then, one of your friends says something to you... Right. ...that is going to negatively affect your other friend, right? Yeah. As far Grace as I believe. You, Grace and Nietzsche. Okay. Okay, yeah. so yeah. the one told you something that is going to yeah. affect your other friend in a very bad yeah. way. Dad apparently. was very upset, and I, I really but, not want to hurt her feelings. But the thing that I never understood is you're essentially put in a position where you were either a shitty friend or you were sharing information that was told to you. So, so I'd rather be the shitty friend. No, you would have rather have been the person sharing information. No? Yeah, because I felt like, okay, 
I owned up in the voice chat that, yeah, I have been asking questions, but it's just because I found the occupation interesting, right? Well, if you, okay, quick question. If you found the occupation interesting, why not ask Deb? Why ask? Because, Rachel? like, I never got an opportunity because I was always having to listen to her dramas about her wanting to start this podcast. Like, every time I'd call her, it would be about her shit, right? Mm-hmm. Half the time I was speaking to her while I was driving. So, like, I was just trying to listen and figure out what was going on. Um, there were times in the VC I'd have to drag her out and say, don't fucking talk shit about Grace in the server. You can call me and talk to me, but Grace is good people, right? This right. was me, my life before I got banned. I said, don't talk shit behind people's backs in the server because I've caught you doing it twice. This is the second time. Like, I don't need to follow you around, Dab, and I don't think Dab liked that, but I don't play that game because I used to be that girl who would talk shit about everyone, so I've been there, done that. Okay. So I when I called Dab out, she got pissed off. When I said to Grace, I'm not getting in the middle of this. You guys need to sort it out. And I don't believe what Dab is telling me about her life. So I don't fucking care anymore. And the final straw was 2.30 in the morning. They're trying to organize time zones for a podcast. And I'm literally there for six hours. I just wanted to put on some spray tan. Like just a bit of spray so, tan. Oh, wait. Are you trying to? Okay. I'm just trying to get this timeline right. Are you saying like the gay op on you and the and you talking about information about Dab's? All Mother. around, this, like, literally same days. Like, literally the probably three day. days. Three okay, days. so not the same conversation, but within three nah, days. Nah, no, no, no. It was just, like, random calls whenever someone was awake. Obviously, I was awake for a week for you know why. <laughs> but, like, when I was trying to go to sleep, that's when the gay op performance happened. And Grace called me and said, oh, Craig wants me to move to Canada, and I don't know how Nietzsche will feel. And I'm like, you know what? Do it. Because I just want to, like, I, in my mind, I'm like, I just want to fucking go to sleep. Good for you. Right? Yeah. Then the same day after I have someone fired, literally for, like, really fucked up reasons, seafood being left out for days, no mm-hmm. dates. I'm sure you know seafood can kill. Yeah. Sure yeah. yeah. So my whole day was not on Discord because I had to do this professionally. Like, I was in tears because I had to get this poor woman fired. And, like, she just come off a heart surgery. So really shit week, not to mention, like, the days following, um, my mum ended up in hospital. Mm-hmm. And, like, that was, like, completely out of the server. And, like, I didn't want to bring that up because I understand I've been accused of doing shit to someone's mum. So I'm not going to bring that up as a defence because it's absolutely nothing to do with my, like, it's yeah. completely two different things. right? So I told, I did tell you that that was what was going on, yeah? But it was nothing to do with what I was doing, like, on right. here. So I kept it to myself, but I was upset I was banned. And, yes, I understand when I came in and I did the DMs and I, uh, whose server do I, I can't even remember whose server it was. I think it was Docs or Augie's. Either or, I got banned. <laughs> um, so the Sorry. gay what were you Where you spoke? Where you spoke out in the... Augie's, Augie's. Fuck all you. Okay. I don't care about all you. Fucking dork. Um, yeah, like the Tommy C messages, I fucking, I couldn't look at them after I sent them right. <laughs> and then I listened to the podcast. I'm like, holy shit, that's fucking funny. But I was in crisis mode in real life. Like in real life, I was like, who the fuck? Like I just was like dealing with work and my friends and like my friends who had to like <sighs> just slap some sense into me. But the friends okay. that I was friends with were just not like they were on drugs too. Okay. Uh Toxic, you had a question? Yeah, the girls you um you're talking about, they've accused you at some points of trying to find people's like first names and Facebooks. Is that true or because I wanted say? people on Facebook because I have a following. Well, it's you know it's kind of weird to be asking like Facebooks usually have people's actual dogs. No, I d- I didn't I like to me in Australia, it's Facebook first, um, Instagram second, and then Twitter is more of an American thing. Mm-hmm. So my Twitter was like a troll page for stalking wrestling people. So originally, like I didn't understand that when I first joined, but yeah, I get it now. Yeah, like in the commentary community, like you know, not no one's going to just give you their Facebook. 
Look, I'm I'm not a commentary. Like, I'm not. I literally am a, just a Spurg. Um, yeah, so I, 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 I know. So, like, me, Matt, like, you could have told, I bet, I'm sure you tried to tell me ten times, but, yeah. I, I take, yeah. Like, you have to well, slap me in the face to get some right. sense of me sometimes. After, after you, before you got banned, right, after you left the server, you were pretty mad at me. And I, I couldn't figure out why, because I, I thought I had told you, you know, this is the situation. And you seemed pretty, you, you were pretty angry at me. And you know why? What's because up? Because you run a server, right, where it's like very diplomatic. And I appreciate that. And I appreciate how moderate you can be. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like you do pick sides. And that's understandable because you have to. Sometimes you have to. But in my position, if someone was threatening to have me arrested, I just feel like that deserved a mute. Because when people like Oz get muted, like I feel like I went Oz level special. Don't worry, I'll swear at him too. <laughs> yeah. Well, so well I, you gotta let me under, let me give you my point of view. So I got one girl telling me that this you're looking into information about her mom. I got now I got people telling me like, okay, well she just threatened to call the cops on that person. That's swatting. So I got a threat in a SWAT and I got a threat in a dock. At, so look, I've been first off once this week. It was fucking fun. I do yeah, it again. First off, it wasn't a threat to SWAT. It was a, like she felt like you were trying to. She was convinced, and you know, she, and she that's has a right to be convinced Grace, that you. Were, that's bad. That's because literally Grace was in voice chats with me, listening to everything I'd say, and then they should literally be typing. Okay, I, I, I get that. I get. Like, I'm not. You're not on. Tri- you're Grace not on trial here, Leah. All right, you're not on trial. I'm not trying to like. No, I'm no, just no, saying, but, you, like you know that what I'm saying is true because you got a screenshot of Grace typing, right? A screenshot of Grace typing where? Um, the the evidence they tried to show Beavers. Remember Beavers? I haven't spoken to these people for quite a while now. Like, so yeah, I got a screenshot DMs. of the evidence that. I've tried to provide, which was a screenshot of Grace saying, Liana said this, 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 this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so, like, to me, that was, that. That, was, that was your hearsay evidence, which is what yeah. you said, right? So yeah. then I'm like, so I'm stewing in my mind after this conversation. I've just fucking cried hysterically to Matt Pitt and Core. And yeah. I don't feel very fucking proud because I feel embarrassed. I feel humiliated because I almost felt like this was a ruse on me for a month and a half because I do get paranoid. And I'm like, what? So these girls really didn't want me here that badly? Like, did I make them that mad? Because yes, I don't get along with girls, but it's it's because I fucking I probably don't help myself either. Yeah. But do you understand my side of the situation? Like, oh, I just absolutely. wanted absolutely. But Matt, yeah. when I when I felt all I wanted was like, <sighs> I just didn't trust anyone after this. Like, when. <sighs> Like Core was fine. I never had issues with Core and Beaver. That's that's why I was like, why is Beaver's a problem? He's an entitled douche. That's funny. Yeah. But like Grace came to me why? recently oh. though. <laughs> so if I could go to the beginning of like my month and a half, two months of being here, Grace messaged me immediately about Beavers and his like trolley behavior. So I got right. a warning. I am not yeah. a very not liked person in the server. Yeah, but Lots like I get like, your humor, like you're funny. Like if yeah, like I don't, I don't need an explanation on people because I like to figure things out myself. But unfortunately, I was like, oh my god, girls that like me, wow, wow. Okay, so timeline wise, you leave the server now. You're mad at me. You start spamming Tommy's DMs at that point. Okay, that was at like is- three in the morning. I had been on GHB. Yeah. Okay. Um, smoking crack meth whatever you want to call it and just losing my fucking shit like imagine like john moxley when he was actually dealing crack right so it was not the persona i wanted to be but it's how i felt at the time so like i kind of like i'm very big on john moxley but, the professional wrestler. Yeah, yeah. Yes. but the, it's, it wasn't intentional. It was how I really felt. <laughs> but when I listened to the podcast, I was like, wow, they thought it was funny. I thought it was stupid. And I, actually, I wasn't offering nudes to Tommy. I said I want his nudes. So they oh. uh, I mean, that's a good point. You said want want nudes. 
Or, well, <laughs> oh. I mean, yeah. Well, I knew, that that yeah. took a turn. Um. Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't really. So you wanted nudes from Tommy. Yeah, well, what? All right, well, I'll be sure to talk to him and uh, see if I can arrange that. Ironically, yes, just... because, like, you know that I called in eight months ago. I had to look up the fucking history of our conversation of, like, me and Tommy. Um, you know he's married, right? Yeah, but, like, it was never about that. It was all a <laughs> joke. If, like, okay, so crazy, ironic. Didn't see any nudes. So yeah. it was a joke. It was a whole joke, but, like, it wasn't... So... Like this, this wasn't a joke. The whole Grace and Nietzsche, yeah. But like the Tommy stuff was a fucking laugh because I was like, I'm sick of people telling me not to talk to Tommy. Then he kicks me out of the poker server, and I'm like, fucking fuming. Then I go into the voice chat, and I'm like, I'm so fucking sick of Tommy C. And then he comes in and yells at me in front of everyone. I'm like, fuck, he caught when me. Did that happen? Um, it was yeah. it was during that whole thing. She said her uh, laptop died. And that's why the poker thing. Because you remember whenever Tommy was like, yeah. I made this event for her, and then she just didn't show up? Right. Because my yeah, that's when fucking that laptop died because I didn't plug it in. Yeah. And, you know, that's an understandable mistake, but it's just yeah, but things were adding up against you. He didn't give me a chance. Yeah. Well, the patience when it comes to poker is he wants to play poker. He wants to sit down and play poker. He wants to play poker with people who know how to play poker. He'll yeah, teach you how to play. He He'll talk about fake. What? He said that I was faking it. Like I wanted to fake to play poker when I played poker for years, man. Well, I, I get that. It's just like, look, there's going to be trust issues, right, Liana? Like, I don't know who you are. You could be like coming into these servers and trying to get information or anything of that nature. So like, you know, and the poker well, server, honestly, I, gathering? Like, I don't know. Like, well, like, look, you literally like dropped information in the Augie server. You were literally saying like, oh, this person and this, the, uh, in docs, you look all in docs. True, and... according to like the people I got this information from was Nietzsche. Nietzsche. But my point is, my point Nietzsche. is like you Nietzsche. found you found out this information. I get that. You're gonna stop there, so. Nietzsche. <laughs> all right, Liana, another gang, you, Nietzsche, gang, Nietzsche gang. What? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Are you all right, Liana? <laughs> okay, so who's lying? My point, Liana, is that you were told information, and the moment you were pissed off, you dropped it in a disc. Okay, I have anger so, problems. I'll admit that. So, in my from my point of view, that basically means, oh, I can't tell this person anything at all. Like, you know, I you tell me anything be... either. That's why I was sick of people talking shit to me. Fair enough. All right, I can't. Which, I, can't argue I would with say uh, that somebody that uses the drugs that Liana does probably has impulse control issues. Oh yeah, yeah, I am I, fucking. No, no. I, have, uh, I have really bad problems. Really, beavers. With, for, like, for the record, Leon, I have a lot of impulses, so and I'm fucking sober now, and I have to be. Okay, good. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank good you. Job. It's not fun. Yeah. Can I just Let's, uh, add something just yeah. quick before you continue out? Uh, I just wanted to say the thing that about the poker server, right? The thing that you need to understand about the, when you with that thing that happened with him there is. The poker server to Tommy is not an extension of Shot from the Point. I understand. It's that. something that he's doing. He's doing it in his own free time. Mm -hmm. um, it's completely free, and he wants to build a little poker po club because he's into poker for a few months. So yeah. you know, yeah. So yeah. So when you stood him up, he kind. I, I can get how he could I get didn't mad. Mean at that, to stand he's using him his up. own time. I didn't stand him up for fun and jokes. Like it was never a troll. That was not. That was an innocent mistake, and I will fucking own. It took me all day to figure out which poker app to download. I was at work. That was actually a public holiday. I was making $60 an hour, and I had to go home because I was that fucked off my head. So I just wanted to go home and play poker, right? Yeah. So, like, it was, like, it was in relation to Tommy, but it was just like, oh, fuck, he kicked me out after all day of this shit. I went home because I'm fucking high. I want to play poker. And I'm like... Like, really, the poker server, like, fine, that's fine. But, like, he sent me back an email of Mr. Kelly. Did you email him? Kicking me out of the fucking poker stars group, and I was so sad. Wait, what? Yeah, it sucked. Well, I mean, you know, that, but in, in fairness, like, you didn't have to take it that way. I mean, you could have just, you know, went to the server and like, oh shit, Tommy kicked me out. And then Tommy comes in and like, Tommy, well, I didn't mean to do that. My laptop broke, you know? But you kind of, you took it way too seriously. Like, he, that could have easily been fixed. He kicked me out within 10 seconds. 
but it could have been easily repaired within a couple that's, days. That's, like, that's what like I tried to tell him that I did DM like sent him a DM saying, Look, my laptop died. I'm sorry, it was not an issue of me standing you up. And I apologize. <sighs> then uh, it was so like it does seem like there's a bit of a pattern here, Leon. So yeah. So you lose your so Tommy kicks you out of that server, you take it to an extreme where it wasn't yeah. supposed to be taken, right? Yeah. When the same thing happened with, with the Dav stuff. Like yeah. you were for what you said to Dav, right? There was not enough evidence. Mm -hmm. Right? No, it was hearsay. She said, she said. Mm -hmm. Nobody was gonna ban you for that. You were completely yeah. in the clear. Yeah. And when you were in that voice chat, people were on your side. Yeah, I was, was even on your crying, side. Crying, but right? you felt stupid. I get that. I get that. But then you go and you overreact, and you go and spurg in that other server. Yeah, Do you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I fucked up. So there's a bit of an overreaction thing going on. Yeah, and I totally get that, Beavers. Like I fucking get that. Like, like just just to make it, you had a W, right? And you I had a that W, w when I, I took the L pretty hard. Yes. It turned, <laughs> yeah, L for Leon. <laughs> okay. yeah, right. To be honest, I wanted to lose right. so badly because I felt like, you know what? I've got nothing left to lose. These people don't want me here. I'll fucking make it worth their while. Oh, you sure did. Uh, uh, you basically I'm... turned this into a... You get you get that you turned this into a public thing, right? Yeah. Like that night, you had Doc on the radio covering it. Augie talked about it on his membership stream. <sighs> called you a whore. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, like, yeah, like, like you brought Tipster into this. The oh, fucking yeah, all kinds Tipster of shit. Brought stuff. himself into this because okay, we'll he, get to you know what Let Tipster me, did. I'll... Listen to what Tipster did. He asked me on Snapchat, and he's like, "You okay?" And I'm like, "No, you fucking son of a Snapchat. bitch! Why would you tell me that I'm scaring you when you fucking look like a fucking morbidly obese pig?" Also, okay, I didn't say that. I was like, "No, I'm not okay." Jeez. All I asked you to do is message Tommy for me. And you can't even do that while you're fucking sitting. Like, he was watching the whole conversation. If only I could screenshot it. But I was just going like this. Imagine me just going. Okay. I get that. But, like, like why should Tipster have to message me Tommy? Up. He set me up to make me look crazy because he knew the turn was coming. Because Tipster will set people up because he knows he's lost trust. Because he does insinuate things. And Wait, well, is on, how did he set you up? Did he did he release any screenshots? No, did I? Yes. Uh, Why not? Yes. Yes, you did. Okay. <laughs> 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 like Tipster did, but I'm just being honest. Like Tipster felt like the screenshot you released. Tipster's like, "Hey, are you okay?" You kind of say stuff, and he's like, "Okay, well, I think you just need to calm down." And and you're kind of freaking out. And well, Tipster, I was at I guess... the point where I'm like, "Next cunt who tells me to calm down, I will explode." And unfortunately, he said that to me, and he blocked me. So I'm like, "Well." Well, you gotta look at this from Tipster's perspective, all right? He's he just got Barney. He just got done with the AP over nine K situation. Yeah. He doesn't need you like you're spurging out now, and it's like, "Oh God, another." Another one of these girls, and you're now, now you then you go on send stream. You're threatening like drop screenshots. You saying he wants to see titties. Like what's the what, what the fuck was up with that? Because it's yeah, true. I was gonna ask. It's you... all true. What so you like? Salvo tried to trick me into saying that AP got twenty five k to drop screenshots. Like okay, if people are gonna call Tipster out and he has to nuke his server or his stream or his fucking channel, who's lying? I, I I don't know. I'm just saying, like you're. Well, so I'm what you're saying, saying? The tips just donating to Tommy to talk shit about me. Well, I mean, a lot of people were talking shit about you, Liana. You yeah, admit you had lost the plot. Them. It's not about them. Tips just lying. He will. He, okay, he'll see. He's master manipulator because he'll see the writing on the wall. That I fucking don't want to talk to him anymore. And Matt, I've been telling you this for months that I don't want to deal deal with him. Right. Come on, I've been oh, telling like you everything you I think you said, you'd call me I think about you said maybe like I'd tell you. Before. No, I think you in a voice chat you said like a week book prior to your event that like you said something about tips or like fuck tips or I thought you were doing your troll. No, 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 no. No. So when I'm when like everything I say is the truth, just I have to say it in a trolley way to save face. And I get that sucks. That's a shit position to be in. That means no one's gonna take you seriously. Yeah. I totally get that. Because it's like well, I do have a lot to say. It's just when I say shit, it's like, what's going to get me in trouble? 
But so what are you, what did Tipster do? What, like, are you saying Tipster asked for, so, like, for... Okay, when I first started following Tipster and he noticed me in his chat, he would shout me out all the time because I was, like, new to commentary. I'm like, oh, cool, yay. Um, then we started inboxing and I'd be like, hey, how are you? Like, I'm very, like, first of all, not my type. So not going to happen. Second of all, um, like his, his DMs would consist of, oh, I'm sad. I'm really sad. Like I'm just a bit sad, like some stuff's going on. I'm just looking at boobies. Like, you know, I'm just looking at boobies. Boobies make me happy. I don't know. How would you take that? He said that in a text or he said that yeah, in a voice Yeah, on chat? Twitter DM, which probably doesn't exist anymore. So, like, my story is hearsay, but I don't think I have to lie. When he well, called me his number one e-whore. Well, well, he says looking at boobies, boobies make me happy. He's not talking about your boobies? Yes, but, like, I, he's insinuated he would love to see mine. And, like, who wouldn't, right? I don't know if you can make that correlation. Like, I would, I would being like. Being a woman, I'm sure it's, I can try, but this is just how I felt at the time. I had to be. Um, Sorry. Please. I just want to say, to be fair, to be fair to Liana, right? Toxic and Matt are pretty straight shooters, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you can definitely use stuff like that to manipulate women into giving you stuff. Well, yeah, I'm sure you can. I, but, yeah, but... I can totally, I'm just no, saying, so, like, I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, at this point, uh, like Liana says, the Twitter DMs aren't probably aren't there anymore. I like Tipster, but you know, well, it's like a like, TSA at this AP point. But you can't, you can't. Yeah. You can't completely discount what Liana's saying. I'm not. I'm as not. In the same way, you can't believe what it's. It's. All it's I'm a saying, nothing burger. All I'm yeah. saying yeah. is, all right. So AP over nine K put out a bunch of screenshots, right? Most of them, although flirtatious, flirtatious, were not seriously harmless to him yeah. or seriously harmful. To him. So, is it possible that he said this in a joking manner? Now, I get that guys can be like, "Yeah, I'd like to see some pair of tits." Am I right, girl? Ha ha ha, J.K. Like, I get guys do that and they're trying to see. Okay, Matt. I get. Matt, do you say Tommy topic. said that, right? And I sent them. What? Yeah, just say Tommy said that. Just say it wasn't Tipster, it was Tommy. He's like, I'd love to see a pair of titties. And I'm like, okay, just, I went bam, sent it, right? Oh, yeah. He's got a wife, right? So does Tipster. Right. I'm looking okay. for morals. And yeah, I'm checking like more. <laughs> Fuck your morals. I feel so sick of I'm so sick of people telling me about their wives while they flirt with me. I'm not that woman. I have a question. Yeah. Playing devil's advocate here. Mm -hmm. Literally. Um, do you know if Tipster DMs uh guys like this? I hope so. Yeah, I've I've heard Tipster like he said, said yeah, he said so it on the stage. That's, not, that's a defense mechanism toxic. That's to just say that oh I talk like this with men. I talk like this with everyone. Like maybe I'm bisexual. Well, I'm saying I've heard Tipster make sex jokes with dude. Because well, yeah, I've heard those too. But... I'm sorry. If no, and Tipster has said he has said himself that he does it with dudes. If someone literally told me that his wife won't fuck him, I'm sure he would fuck anything. And if I'm yelling into the laptop, I'm holding it up to my face. And I want to smash it over my head. Like, I'm literally, like, I cannot talk about Tipster anymore because he's so full of shit. And okay. one more thing I have to say, I gave him the fucking idea to like say his leaving commentary is a joke and like come back a, a month later and be like, woohoo. <laughs> and guess who stole my idea, motherfuckers? Okay. okay. Uh, fair enough. So that's it. For, all right. All right. Well, I, I'm sure if Tipster hears this, he'll have a retort. Matt, I love writing I bullshit too, but unfortunately, people steal my great ideas. Yeah, all I'm saying is I think it's possible that Tipster was joking with you. Yes, and but sometimes you're... when you joke about sexual stuff with women who have been used for sex, like, a lot, it does hurt. Oh, yeah, I, I mean, fair, I guess. I yeah. Matt, have you ever been used? <laughs> yeah, but then you... Matt, have you ever been used? No, but Liana, <clears throat> Liana, what you're getting into there you is that people need to moderate themselves. Yeah. No, that is... Yeah. You're, you're telling... You're expecting other people to moderate themselves with every person... You know yeah. what I mean? You yeah. can't you can't expect that from people. Like if right? Tipster like obviously Tipster has issues where he feels like he can be personal with these these mm. people online and get yeah. loosey goosey and make jokes. And I I you know, and that's probably not the best yeah. idea to do that. Yeah, you know? but what blew like, my I, mind is actually Mudaha's girlfriend calling him out. That fucking that woke me up more than anything because I'm like, wait, Mudaha's girlfriend? 
Like she didn't mm-hmm. need to do that. Mudahar's not a drama channel. He's video gaming, right? Yeah. So I felt like when yeah. Mudahar, when Mudahar no, got no. involved, I really felt like, wow, because Mudahar seems very neutral with everyone to a point, yeah? Yes. Yeah, I, would, I think so, yeah. yeah. So when Mudahar got involved, like I know Mudahar made a video about H3. Mm-hmm. And Probably. did apologize for anything that he was um, misinformed about. Not about. So yeah. when Mudaha has to say something to someone uh, defending his girlfriend, and I was kind of like, yeah, no, this does make sense. Because, like, Mudaha's girlfriend's gorgeous. Like, she wouldn't keep tabs on anyone for no reason. Okay. Does that make a bit more All sense right. to you? Well, yeah, I, I, I guess. We, we can leave the tipster there. Uh, yeah. You said what you needed to say. Yeah. Uh, I want to go back. I'm going to read. So, uh, Dav, <clears throat> and they, they've stated pub. They've made their, uh, they've made these public on our comments so i'm gonna re- i'm gonna read them and you stop me when you want to interrupt all right yeah so dab dab on her reply to our podcast said if she had asked me the questions about my mom mm-hmm. and not other people it would have been a whole different story yeah I mean, she's right okay all right so nietzsche and you can this is a long one so oh, just stop me if you, okay yeah so, so nietzsche, nietzsche says nietzsche gang, what did she say sorry she says, I was never best friends with Liana. No, you weren't. I have yet. Wait, what? I was never. Liana, anytime, anytime you disagree with something that Nietzsche is saying, object. just say, hold up. Yeah, just say object. <laughs> Let's do object. Okay? Just drop it on. Were you best friends with Nietzsche, Liana? Hey, she's right. Damn it. I have uh, next to no DMs with her. I, I answered one of her calls where she proceeded to ask me personal information about myself and others. Yeah. She asked for my first name, my Facebook. Mm -hmm. I became uncomfortable and later found out she had been starting drama between my friends. Mm -hmm. After it came out, Liana had been trying to look into Dav's mom. I blocked her. I didn't need to speak to her any further than that. When Liana was... Go for it. Nietzsche would get us in group calls and like Nietzsche was the one who was trying to like lie about her, she if she wanted to e-date someone in our server that was on her, she was happy to tell us when I guessed because I knew because I could see her streaming all the time, right? Yeah. So if she didn't want to disclose any information to me, she did. Even if I guessed it correctly, which I did, she could have just said no. So she did tell me personal things about herself. I showed her pictures of the guy I was fucking, right? Unfortunately, his name was Nick. Okay. What? So we would like... <laughs> Fuck off, Fevers. I... The Oreo? No. So Wait. She asked me for pictures of the guy I was fucking. She was like, oh, wow, I didn't expect that. So I'm like, okay. We're talking, we're talking. She said her name was... Right? So we spent for an hour and I was just talk- shooting the shit with her because I was just in between. Um, I would finished work and I'd come home and I just saw Nietzsche was online. This was the day before they do- like accused me of doxing. Um, and at the same time, I was telling Grace, look, I really don't, I really do not believe Dad. Like, is this really her? If it is, I fucking like, I want to know why she would tell people stuff about her life in public voice chats. Like, I caught her doing it in the poker server. Okay. Like, literally after I spoke to Dav, I went to the poker server because she said she had to go, right? Or this was mm-hmm. a, I can't remember the time exactly, but it was, like, when I got a phone call from them three annoying me at 2.30 in the morning, yeah, I um found her in the poker server telling some random about, like, medical shit. Like, stuff that she says, oh, I don't want people to know about, yeah? She's like, oh, I've got to go. Yeah. Like, she left pretty quickly. It's like, I, I really don't care if she's she is who she says she is. It's just I don't understand how anyone could believe that. And that's all I was saying. Um, okay. In fairness, it was just an assumption by me because, like, to me, that's a lot of shit that she's done. Whether or not be uh, over-exaggerated, perhaps. But to me, what Dav was saying what Nietzsche was saying, it's like I feel like Dav was the innocent party. 
Grace was listening and Nietzsche was the one who was stirring the shit. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I just was minding, like, I was just, I was shooting. I was straight shooter like you guys. I'm straight shooter. I can't. If I ha if I think it's bullshit, I'll say it. Yeah? Yeah. So that's yeah. where I got myself in trouble. And I will admit that, yes, I did not give people a chance. But at the same time, they didn't afford me the same chance when they blocked me. Yeah. So that's, that's basically it. And I honestly, I can't read that DM because it's too fucking long. Okay. So I'll, I'll continue. So when La Liana was in the Shopping Point VC uh, trying to look into Dad's mom, I blocked her. I didn't need to speak to her any further than that. Oh, sorry. I read it again. Yeah, you're when right. Was right in the I'm just going to light out. Yeah. When Lana was in the SFTPBC confronting Dav in front of 20 people, I did not speak. I had asked Matt Pryor if they could have this confrontation hey, in a private I VC object. to avoid Hold on. People. Also, Nietzsche was getting freak to delete my messages. And I understand a freak was told not to start drama, but freaks a Nietzsche simp, and I feel like she used that to her advantage, right? Right, right, right? Uh, I, I can say there were messages deleted, yes. That's right. But I think it was trying to, I think it was a, a way to try and avoid confrontation. Well, they uh, it was okay. not the best Imagine idea. thinking you're going to start a podcast with someone, right? And then the next day you're blocked by all three of them. They steal my podcast and I'm just meant to sit there and take it? You like? Uh, I mean, it's, the podcast, podcast never happened. Yeah, well, they were trying I mean, <laughs> really hard and they sucked. I'm sorry, I can't work with that sort of bullshit. And yes, I caused Maybe a lot of the bullshit. But. Start a podcast with Brick. No. Why not? Because he's too busy fucking simping for Stardust. And I'm I'm like, what? I don't think he simps for Stardust. <sighs> anyways. But anyway, there was there was talks of getting you guys to talk privately when Dab came to me as a private confrontation. Yeah, they she said didn't so. Take that yeah, Dab didn't want yeah. She and wanted it became to make public. a fucking shit uh, show of it. Well, no, I think she wanted to be done with it and just block That's you. Not fair. And like, how you... is that fair on me? I mean, it's, like, it, okay, it's imagine something, if like... I ignored them, but then had to come into voice chats and had to see, like, and Nietzsche was spending a good month trying to make me jealous of her flirting with Brick, but I could see it. She's a hoe. I, um, uh, I mean, <laughs> to, to be fair, when Liana says that, um, I can't speak for Dav, right? But what I can tell you is Dav, in a public VC, did express that she was a bit angry after the... Not angry, but like she wanted to prove people wrong and that she was right. He's all, right? Yeah. Yeah. After the me. VC. Yeah. She, argued, she got into an argument with Tommy C over gun laws and he just told her, you don't know what you're talking about. He had to keep saying, Dad, you don't know what you're talking about, but I respect your, your opinion for having it. And I just sat there. Well, I was in my car, waiting for my friend, just giggling to myself, and then I got muted. Like, I'm sorry, okay. but Dab uh, argues for the sake of arguing. I can't do it. All right, I'm going to continue. So Liana left both servers, and shortly after, many people came to the conclusion that I was involved in some clicky girl group. Lol, well, I must relate. I must restate that she was not my friend. I entertained her trolling at the very most. I never asked she to be banned, timed out, or any of the sort. Uh, and I think I can confirm that she never asked me. One of the first, What's I up? object. One of the first things Nietzsche ever said to me was, don't fuck with me, Liana. And I was like, okay. So I guess I fucked around and found out. But, yeah. Like, I didn't mean it like uh, that. I, I asked people what was her deal. Why is she so bitchy? I mean, fair enough. Uh, the next morning, I was speaking with two mods in the Shop of the Point Discord. That would be me and Toxic. As well as Dab and other t uh, and uh, another two friends who were being attacked. Uh, I don't remember. Okay. Two other that wasn't okay. you. Okay. That okay. wasn't okay. you. That was me. Okay. Okay. Hey, wait, wait, wait. So, yeah, Fevers, Matt, Toxic, Core. Why would you do a podcast with people you don't fucking like? And if I wasn't one of her friends, why did she fake it? She wanted that. Like I don't know. I. I thought y'all were cool. No, I don't no, know. no, no, no. Nietzsche was the it. biggest fucking troublemaker. Like, and I'm sorry, but who has to watch movies in VC? That is so lame. Whoa. 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 Right. I like yeah. movies. No, I, I get it. All right. Some of the movies myself, are boring. I get my it. my friends in real life. I'm sorry. I just, I feel like, remember before I left, I was protesting VC for VC. 
Voice chat for voice yeah. chat. I'm not here to fucking. Do you want to put a movie on? I'll put Mr. Robot on. Just can't do it. We're okay. doing a podcast. So, Dav and one of her friends were both quite upset because Liana had been spurging an Augie's Clip live server. She used my real name and mentioned she my me occupation. That object. And she told me that was a fake name. I, I don't. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't Where know. Where are at this these point. girls? She also continued to. Be, to, to be fair, uh, hold on. But also, to be fair, the name that you used in that server is the name that she has told. I believe anybody who knows her name, because I know her name. So, and that's her problem, not mine. Maybe it's fake. Maybe it's not. I'm, I'm not like, going to say. I'm not okay, if I said your real name right now that people already know, that's not doxing. Yeah, I, 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 I bring. I think last names are what makes it a full dox. But I think the way you worded that thing in the clip live server I again was kind of scary. <laughs> I still think you can make the argument. Uh, Core, if you could find no, that screenshot, no, I'd I don't like want to see bring. it. You're still here. Why do you Cor? have to torture me? Uh, I'm already I'm sorry. sober and well. I'm. Just, well, we'll get. We'll, we'll get, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue reading this. All right. Uh, she okay. to threaten myself and a few others. Liana had not been banned from the shop from the point at this point. Yep, I left. I said to Dad and this other person, if it's causing you this much stress, vote with your wallet and leave. I wasn't asking for Liana to be banned or that anyone else would leave, but as a result, I was banned for a week. Timed out, Nietzsche. Uh, for threatening Tommy's income. Getting off lightly. So just to... to, to uh, Catch you up, Liana. Uh, Nietzsche was timed out for a week after using the uh, quote, uh, vote for your wallet. Uh, vote with your wallet in a voice chat. And Tommy did not take that uh, okay. nice well, that very well, seriously. Was, she was okay, timed let, really let, let, like... let me finish. Let me finish. She was timed out for a week, and then her and Grace ended up leaving Good. the server. They, were the, two, like, they yeah. were the two issues. Dev and I were cool. Sorry, I'm getting okay. mad, but I, like this is what I've been trying to shout for a week. The Dab and I were fine until Nietzsche and Grace got involved. Yeah. It's funny, no, it's funny how I'm, none of these girls are American. Like, why do I hate Americans again? What? Sorry. Yeah, that's it. Is something that this whole if this female podcast, none of y'all are American. It's interesting. I know. It's, it's, it's like it's like the drama is. You guys are extreme with the drama, but these girls are fucking batshit. So Nietzsche continues to say, so do I think I owed her a conversation after finding out she had been running around trying to cause rifts between my friends? No, she was never important enough to me and I shouldn't have been to her. Considering we had rarely spoke outside of public BC, I don't believe it would have solved anything, prevented this giant shit show. I find it comical that this take is being presented. Great podcast. Okay, well, great podcast, Matt and Toxic. Both know I love, and she doesn't. Wait, keep going. Comment, bro. Fuck this comment. That's a very backhanded compliment. Sorry, if she if she couldn't come and talk like adults, then I don't understand why my point of view is not like being respected by her. Do you get me? Yeah. If she couldn't actually sit down and have, see, this is my problem. If she's, why is it okay to bully white women? What? Whoa! <laughs> okay. Are you making this a race? Uh, no, but also we gotta beep that whole plot. We gotta beep that whole okay. plot. That um, whole section there. We gotta beep. Take it out. It's fine. Can we talk about Zell? She protested Uh-oh. about I will not be in a server with the Peter. Like you know, it's like but you're a bully. Well, I mean, I think Zell should have been banned from the server. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, yeah, I don't we can make politics like that. Oh, I'm off, very toxic. moderate. I will look at both sides. But when you told me originally. I remember you saying to me, Matt, it's you girls, you get into these conversations and then you come into voice chats very hostile. And I was like, what? Do we? Speaking yeah. of coming in voice chats very hostile, <laughs> um, about an hour before you got banned, what was that about? You came in there and you were, it was like after you left the server, I think you rejoined and then you just went Because off everyone's saying, do I come back, come back. And I'm like, oh, I'm coming back. I'm fucking coming back. I had my gun ready. <laughs> I had my oh. pocket knife. Wait, people were telling you to come back. Yeah. Okay. So someone I someone was stirring the pot. Someone was stirring the names? pot. Huh. They said you didn't have to leave. Oh. So why did you leave? I was like, I don't know, guys. Why did I leave? You didn't have to leave. And if you never left, I don't I think might have you said that. I got climbed out by Toxic because he was like he was like he had to, which absolutely. Well, no, it had become an issue. Is what my point. Once you went into the clip live server and said what you said, it became an issue. Well, because like I, in my opinion, it was a very embarrassing fight. 
So I was like to Tommy, you don't want well, this, do you, you that, don't want this leaked because it's fucking embarrassing. And I said that. Right? Well, do you realize like how bad what you put in the clip live server oh, was? Oh, I don't remember. No. Oh, well, we'll let's get, look at it. Hold on. Let me read Grace's statement. All right. I want to make sure I'm fair to both Grace and oh. you. Right, cool. uh, Grace, Grace said I made my statement on Twitter about 12 hours ago. Grace, I'm sorry, but I'm not reading all that. I saw that Twitter statement. I can't read it all. Uh, <laughs> that mostly mimicked the sentiment. The difference being that I did consider Liana someone I was becoming friends with. So when things were made apparent behind the scenes that she was hitting friends against each other and the things being said to us escalating beyond the level that I was prepared to have any involvement in, the phone call with Matt, we all agreed blocking and muting and to leave it there, which Matt also hoped would be the end of it. Unfortunately, this was only the beginning, which was a concern I voiced. Neither of us wished any ill will towards her. Uh, we just wanted to be left alone. I did not call for her to be banned. I just wanted her to leave me alone. That is it. That is all. Wow. Uh, that That's all it, have been. it, it has ever been. With Grace, that's fine. Do not have an issue with what she said. I understand that I took it to a level it didn't need to go to. But in my position, all they had to do was reach out to me privately and none of you would know about any of this, right? Yeah. So, like, Matt, you didn't even have to have a tar court. You didn't have to do nothing. It was all, like, it was just all overblown before it began, before I even got home from work. And I knew, because remember, I was like, why am I blocked? Like, I, people blocked me. Like, I'm trying to organize this actual podcast and then I'm blocked. And then Dab's already in the free server. Like, we don't have to repeat the timeline. You've explained it. So, in my defense, I felt very validated in what I said. Yes, I went about it the wrong way. And I'll admit, absolute fault. Wrong of me to take it to the level I did. Doxing, I don't believe so. But if you want to put it in that perspective, sure. But when people are lying yeah. to me about names and Facebook pages, um, I don't consider that doxing because it's it's first names, Facebook pages that are already public. Dav's already explained. Like before I even got into the server, I'm sure Dav's told everyone in a life story. Like of the people I trust more, it would be Dav, regardless of like Nietzsche and Grace ever being involved because Dav would call me and tell me shit. And, like, really, like, I was worried because I was worried because well, she was from... talking about Grace behind her back. I'm like, just tell me what's going on. And then I got to the point where I'm like, I don't fucking want to know anymore. Like, it's between you and her. And I think well, that you gotta, from their perspective, right, Nietzsche, this is why I, this is why I think they blocked you, right? Dev... She was like worried because you were trying to find information on her mom supposedly yeah. right so she wanted nothing to do with that she wanted to be done mm -hmm. right um nietzsche said she was like never really your friend anyway so she was just like all right whatever okay. Okay. and then so what she like if she didn't want to speak to me she didn't have to answer the call because i did speak to her for an hour shooting the shit and none of it was intel i just wanted to know about who she said she wanted to e-date and who she's in love with and then I sent her pictures of the guy that I was fucking. So I apologized that I thought she was my friend, Toxic. So you okay? You don't got to apologize to me, but you're saying she was like leading you on. Yeah, as like she a was baiting. Kind of bait, friend, bait, like... bait, bait, bait. Okay, I found, I found the the the. Here's the thing, I found it. Nietzsche, if you're a her occupation, I can't wait to find out where <laughs> that there can't be that many her race counselors. In fucking her country of origin, uh, you dumb lying cunt, fuck around and find out, bitch. Now, if I read that, I would take that as a threat. <laughs> correct? Sorry. What do you no? mean? No. <laughs> it's pretty strong. I'm sorry, that's, that's a pretty strong bad. threat. Yes, I'll own that. That's fucking bad. What do you? How do you and go from no to that's pretty bad? I mean, there's there's more, Liana. There's a lot. <laughs> I mean, you went off. Yes, guilty. <laughs> I'm guilty. But. After the fact, they all betrayed me. Betrayed. Yeah, you call, you, I reckon her, this is, you're, you're talking about Dav here, uh, I reckon her dumb inbred uh, J-E-W, as was sent to J-E-W. Okay, okay, stop, 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 man. Stop yeah, being a bitch. Say yeah, it. No. Well, 
I'm What's not, wrong with the word Jew? I'm not getting an argument with you because she's a horrible <laughs> fucking person. Okay, cool. Like it, you were going off, right? Like mm -hmm. I don't remember that. So yeah, I'm fucking. Oh, this is humiliating. <laughs> This is really bad. I, uh, I, I do cross a line with everyone. Rick, you are so egotistical. You would stream in a server where these snakes hide and you're being married to a retard. I mean, I don't know. This is pretty crazy. I don't know. Uh, the brick stuff was true. That's how I felt. You were so you were mad. You were really mad about the brick. <sighs> yeah. So, all right. This whole thing happens, right? You have the the spurg out on clip live this became this becomes a thing everybody's talking about it uh you become the new white glove liana are you aware of that i won the vote right yes you won the vote yes. i apologize for that but it was fucking funny because like i spent my night before watching the white glove dance party video the one that um tommy cut and I was like, I had I had to tell Tommy, like, I cannot stop laughing. I had to pause it because it was just so funny. And the next day I'm banned. Okay, maybe like fucking 48 hours later. It just, it yeah. happened so fast. And like my mind was going at a thousand miles an hour and being on fucking stupid uppers. Narcotics. Yes, 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 yes. I, I totally agree. I crossed a fucking line. And I do apologize to Dav, Nietzsche. <sighs> fucking hate her anyway but grace and Dav, like i'm sorry like this was not me like we, we, when you say it was a bit matt like i took the bit too far way way too far yeah like i can't even i was an idiot i was selfish but i did really you wrote feel essays, I, I need Liana. to stop saying but but i was very selfish and egotistical <laughs> in my own way like you were sending essays to people. Bunk sent me your DMs, and it was just like a whole page. Like, like I couldn't okay, well, even zoom I got into kicked out of that it. server three times. Like it was like they were throwing my shit out. It was like I walk in with my stuff, and they threw it back out, and I came back, they threw it back out. It was like the police station all over again. And then you got, and then now, like, uh, and what's happening basically after that is you're now you're on Twitter. And you're replying to people tweeting about food that are in the server. And you're starting tweeting about all, all this situation. And everyone's like, yo, calm down. And you're like, retribution. <laughs> you thought like that, that was funny. That was funny. Yeah. It was funny. It was I your thought he's speech. making a reference to the gay wrestling No, thing. it was um, Mr. Robot when Angela's about to get shot in the head. This was me. And he, the, her dad, the guy, is telling her, like, you need to stop. Like talking shit, I'm wired basically, and she's like, "What? What do you want to get out of this?" And she's like, "Retribution, I want it." And then, literally three minutes later, yeah. she got shot in the head. So I feel like okay. I was very Angela esque. Uh, it was not <laughs> like I just wanted. To I feel like you got it. I think you have a problem projecting yourself into character. Yeah, you, know, like you want to be like John Moxley. Yeah, yeah, yeah but you're I'm like yeah. you're having like, like a. I'm not diagnosed bipolar. Don't give me that one. Okay. Right. Okay. Gotcha. Good. Anxiety and depression totally could own that. Yeah. Can I move this? I have a question. Um, Go ahead. What's going on with you and Ken Shamrock? <laughs> yeah, what was that all, all oh, about? I've, been what I've had him on. He added me on Facebook years ago. Um, and then I tried to chat what? to him. And he was like, I thought it was a fake. Like, I've chatted to so many wrestlers that Marty Gennetti, hit, Marty Gennetti was hitting on me, man. Like, hello. I've got friends in fact. Uh, Ma Marty, Marty Gennetti might ha have killed somebody, Liana. Jesus Christ. Well, I <laughs> also may have killed someone this week, and thank fuck I didn't. Uh, okay, uh, good you did okay. it. I'm great. Um, Let's not discuss that. Minecraft? Anyway. Um, yeah. Just, you know, when you want to punch someone in the face all your life and you just do it. Okay, well, let's not say anything else. Uh, all right, so I think we've covered a, a good bit of the, what what happened in the situation. Yeah, well, okay, I need uh, to ask yeah. you a few questions, Mr. Pitt. Okay, before you ask me questions, I'd like to ask, uh, do you think you owe an apology to Dav? Absolutely. Would you like to do that right now? Is she here? No, I'm no. just saying, but Dav would probably be listening. Dav, I apologize for everything I ever said about you. 
And unfortunately, I took it to a level that I shouldn't have taken it to. I trusted someone who I sh- may have disclosed information where, yeah, I was concerned about what you were saying online. And I honestly probably should have come to you first. So in saying that, yeah, I can see why you would have blocked me first because like in doing this podcast, I realized I was the one who made the mistake of not trusting people. So I do apologize for not approaching you first. But when I'm hearing three different stories from three different women about just some bullshit, I just got like bored of it. And I was, I didn't afford you the same honesty that you afforded me originally. So yeah, I will own that I did fuck up. But nothing was ever done maliciously, Matt. So I just want her to know it was never malicious. Okay. Right. Uh, anything to say to Nietzsche and Grace? Grace, I fucking love you. I wish, I wish, again, I didn't call you the names I called you. Like, I have no right to call anyone that, especially being someone who does have mental health issues and does understand how hard it is. And being ableist is not, not me at all. Um, you were always lovely to me, but again, when you were messaging someone behind my back while I was talking to you, I did question a lot of, a lot of the stuff that was going on with this said podcast. And I genuinely considered your friend and I do apologize if you thought that I was participating in gay ops. Okay. Uh, Nietzsche? What? I don't have an apology for Nietzsche. Nietzsche. I'm not asking. Yeah, I, I, you would give a message. Do you have like yet. a message to oh, say? Nietzsche, if you're really a you shouldn't bully anyone or pick sides about anything. Woo! Nietzsche gang, Nietzsche gang, Nietzsche gang. Yeah. Uh, tipster? Uh, that fucked yeah, faggot, uh, you're gay anyway. Who was that, that to? Tipster. That was the tipster. Okay, what uh, about Tommy? Tommy, I apologize for any inconvenience I've caused. Messages were totally a fucking joke, but I understand spamming is not fun. And I don't think you're an old man or an ugly vet or a fat old man. I thought you were hot originally. And I know you have a wife and fuck. I care that you're married and you have kids and I like you're a person and I'm a person. And like, I want to play poker. All I wanted to do is play poker, Matt. Poker. He kicks me out in five minutes. <laughs> Okay, uh, so you had questions. What? Yeah, you had questions for oh. us. Okay, my stalker, let's talk video. Can we talk about that? My stalker, let's talk. Uh, uh, that was clickbait. Yeah, I know. But discussed some things I said. So, like, what was okay. with the mouse videos? Mouse videos. That has nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you do realize that. <laughs> You, you realize that the whole video wasn't about you, yes, right? Yes, but like when I'm seeing mouse videos about g- mouses being gassed, I'm like, holy shit. Yeah, yes, you had, were the mouse. That was you. Know. I mean, like, I'm totally into <laughs> roleplay, but fuck, that's next level. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that had nothing to do with you. He, all right, so the title's clickbait, right? We talk about you, you for maybe like use a two to three of me, minutes. Thanks. Chicks ugly. Well, I don't. No, I wanted the cloud. <laughs> I thought it was I a funny the cloud. Thing. It's not fair. Well, we know, yeah. I mean, fair enough. Look, uh, you know, maybe, maybe it'll be a sequel. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, the mouse thing had nothing to do. You. Most of the show had nothing to do with okay. you. Basically, basically so, the title. And so the that fuck. donation, the five dollars, was not me. I was fucking asleep. I was sleeping off drugs. Yeah, yeah. We we know. There's people that donate and like uh, and that pretend to be people, or they donate to to basically I loved it. say stuff. I appreciate it. But at the time, five dollars was not in my bank account to even make this donation, nor was my like literally you guys stream at five in the morning for me sometimes. Yeah. yeah it's totally not almost five in the morning right now. Um Yeah, sorry. I have a question, yes. Liana. So we're recording this three days later because yeah. Matt forgot to ask this question. So I'm gonna ask it for him. Sure. Liana were you ever planning on going to a concert with somebody from the server? Oh, Rylan said 
that he has a spare My Chemical Romance ticket for 2023. And I was like, fuck yeah. Where so he kind of. Mm-hmm. So yeah. you're going to go? Well, like if there's a spare ticket involved, if not, I'll still go. It's, it's not sold out. So you were, you were prepared to go hang out with someone in the Discord sing, uh, server? No, sure, Ryan. Sa- Ryland sounds really cool. Really? Yeah. Even even now after everything? I mean, of course. Ryland and I got along very well. I understand if he doesn't like me at the moment, which is fair enough. No one likes me. Shut up, cat. Um, but like, I wouldn't. I didn't even know about the concert. It was more that they were coming. Um, yeah, a spare ticket would have been awesome. But, like, if he doesn't want to hang out with me, that's, yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck, Matt? Do you want to make me sound any more desperate? Well, no, it's just uh, Ryland. Well, just to give you some context, uh, Ryland talked about this in the server. And everybody was mm. like, wait, what? You were going to go hang out with Liana? So everybody's been kind of, like like, dunking on him. And uh, Mike the Bike made a song about it. Who's Mike the Bike? Mike How do you the not bike. know who Mike the How Bike is? How do you not know is? who Mike the Bike is? Come on. The guy who makes the parody Mate, songs? I've been here. Like, What's up, Susie Lou? I, we're coming after you. <laughs> well, we, we were going to play it at the end of the podcast. So you can hear okay. it, when it when it comes out. Um, okay. Do you guys oh. miss me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't matter. I fucking hate you. Um, uh, <laughs> okay, fine. I'm look, stuck look, in look. Brick's. I'm stuck in Brick's server for the minute, so whatever. Okay, let me ask you this, Liana. I'll ask you yeah. one last question. Let's say the interview comes out, right? And let's say people from the opposing side have stuff to say. Would you talk to them on a podcast? Definitely. Okay. Oh boy. Gotcha. All right, we'll keep that in Why, mind. How ba- wait, wait, wait. How bad's the opposing side? Like. Like, Nietzsche, like, would I what? would Grace. I stand a chance? Like Grace or Nietzsche? Oh, would you talk to Grace or Nietzsche on a podcast? Oh, I'd really love to talk to Grace. Nietzsche, I'm kind of done with for hypocritical reasons. Um, but Grace, holy I don't shit, think, she's the I don't, I don't, I don't think she would come on. I don't think that. But I think she Nietzsche. never. She. I don't think she ever wanted to come on a podcast anyway, which is odd since yeah. she stole my podcast from me. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> I, I, think, mean, I think Dab is done. Uh, I don't know about, I, I'm pretty sure Grace is, you know, whatever. I don't know. And I think, I don't know about Nietzsche. Nietzsche probably is going to have something to say. So we'll see what happens. I really, like, uh, if I have to talk to Nietzsche, I will. But we weren't best friends, remember, Matt? She just told me about her e-boyfriend, right? All right. Uh, Liana, uh, I bid you adieu. Thank you for answering this last question. And uh... No, you have to answer my question. What question? Okay, what question? Okay. Who wins in a fight? A bear, a grizzly bear, or a Bengal tiger? Go. Uh, tiger. Bear. I reckon tiger. Yeah, because you're smart. Matt's dumb. There you go. Uh, a grizzly bear? Grizzly bear's got a lot of mass. I don't know. Yeah, but a tiger's ferocious. Let's see what happens. <laughs> are, you the, are you the bear? Or are you the tiger? Oh, bear? I'm the tiger. Okay. I'm trying to take down the grizzly Who's bear. the bear? Tipster? Oh, yeah. He's so full of shit. Please, like, if anything, get the word out. He's done. He's done in this community. <laughs> I, I, don't, right. I don't know if that's going to happen. I mean. Well, he's would very have, inconsistent, and I'm you, pretty sober right now, and I still feel the way I feel. I think I already asked you this, and forgive me if I'm asking again. Would you ever talk to Tipster on a podcast? Yeah, I would. Okay. I, I've got nothing to hide, or, like, I'm not scared of talking to anyone. Okay. Um, unfortunately, his idea of talking to me is getting, like, I've been on, um, I can't remember, I think it was Dead on Dave. I was trying to, like, I saw him in the chat, and I'm just like, haha, everyone laugh at Tipster, and I got muted immediately, which was fine. But then he keeps talking shit after I'm muted. It's like, hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I'm getting muted everywhere, which is great. I'm cancelled before I'm a streamer, Matt. Does this make sense? I uh, don't. Well, I mean, it's not canceled. It's just he went crazy. I mean, there's a difference. Wait. So if I say ha ha ha, everyone look at Tipster and laugh. That's cancelable. Yeah. Like, no, what is cancelled? No, no, that's not can. You're 
Okay, no, you're taking. You did a lot. <laughs> you did a lot more than say, ha ha ha, look at Tipster in a chat. All right. Back to our previously scheduled interview. Uh, is there any question? Is there any more questions that you had for Am us? Am I still a mouse? No, no. Again, the mouse what had nothing squirrel? to do. You can be the guy. Are you telling oh. me Steve mouse, to leave also lied to me? About what? Money. <laughs> About what? Or I want you to know it's an hour and a half into this podcast, and now you want to say no, something. I'm done. Uh, I was doing all the background work. I apologize. Oh, I was oh. doing all the legwork that doesn't Sorry, exist dude. with Matt Pitt. Steve, to leave lied to you about what? What are you talking about? <laughs> You talking about the squirrel yeah. thing? Because I'll get all your nuts. All right. Well, I mean, I'm, I love you, Matt. I'm sorry. Okay, that's weird. Don't. Okay. Don't... Look, look I, I, I love, I have like, a question. Love, 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 like love. Before, before, sure. before that. Uh, hold on. Fuck, I can't people just say love. Fucking... I love you, toxic. I love I'll you, love. cool. I love myself. All right. So Steve Lee DMs me and he says he gives me a screenshot of Liana saying, "Can you please send this to Matt?" Please, I don't want to upset Matt. I love Matt. Uh, please, I love Matt. I don't want him to be upset. And a bunch of emojis. And he, he says, you, you are loved, Matt. And I said, thanks, Steve. Thanks, Steve. Good luck with protecting those squirrels or whatever, lol. Uh, he says, the squirrels are dead, Matt. Lol, yeah. I don't protect shit. Just call it how I see it. And I said, oh, shit, they died? No. And he said, I know, right? Like your leg, big sad. Um, so did he just send you this screenshot out of context? Yeah. Like, yeah, no context? yeah, yeah, yeah. And you didn't ask like what what the squirrels were right. about. You seem like the type that would ask that. But yeah, the squirrels had nothing to do with you. Repsion and uh, Repsion and Jane were killing squirrels in their area, and Steve Deleve and all those guys are making a big uh, oh. thing about it because they were killing okay. squirrels. Had it had nothing to do with you. Yeah, that was not some weird fucking slang or anything like okay, that. Okay, so I can't be like I can't use a squirrel emoji. Like that's not a bit. You're not a squirrel. You're not a mouse. Are you a furry, Leona? No. Okay. okay uh, Core had, had a question. Yeah, I have a question. Uh, was Colton a gay op? No, Griffin is. Griffin. Griffin <laughs> told me that Colton wanted my nudes, but it was Griffin causing all the trouble. Remember I started off with problems with him? So uh, the one person in the yeah. server that has my nudes, we all know. He said... Colton, he was said that Colton said that he wants to get my nudes off said person. Right? Well, that's that, yeah. But it was Griffin weird. who started that rumor because he knows Colton's banned. No, but right. I'm saying, well, was Colton the... leaving because of you? Uh, was that a gay no, Were no, you no, trying no, to no, get no, Colton? No, Griffin lied the whole time and blamed it on. Okay, Griffin was the one when I even before this happened, when I first joined, Griffin was on my ass from the beginning. He fucking hated me, right? Um mm -hmm. and then Colton, like I thought it was cool to talk to because everyone to like didn't want to fuck with Colton. And I get that. He's going through some shit. But every time I've spoken to Colton, he's been cordial. Like he's I've never had an issue. So I messaged Colton, I said, So are you asking for my nudes? Uh, about like whoever I send them to, and he's like, "No, why would I do that? I have a girlfriend, and I know that he has a girlfriend." Um, so I went back to Griffin and I said, "Griffin, why would Colton lie when he has a girlfriend? Like he's with her at the moment in England, right? As far as I know." Uh, um, so who's like Griffin's the one who has caused a lot of trouble for me? And I got him in a voice chat last night. I'm like, dude. Like, he was in another server telling me to overdose, right? Well, I thought that was cool. No, no, no. Griffin has followed me to this Ravenhaven server and telling us. Oh, shit. You're in the Ravenhaven server? Yeah, he was server? telling me to um, overdose. And I'm like, well, good luck because, <laughs> like, I know how overdoses work and all I've got to worry about is heart failure. So, fuck you. Um, and then I'm like, he kept following me and everyone was like, fuck off, Griffin. Like, he followed me to this server to tell me to overdose. So if anyone in this server is the trouble, it's Gryffindor. Griffin. Have you found friends in the Ravenhaven server? No, you know? they're all fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's just funny. The irony that you were one of the girls chosen to defend Tipster on our podcast. And now you hate Tipster. You're in the Ravenhaven server with them. 
<laughs> like that's you gotta that's pretty, it's all full you circle say that yeah. i love you guys i had to explain to someone i'm not in love with you i, I was like fuck maybe i shouldn't say that word so much yeah, you should. You got to understand, people have autism, right? So they take stuff seriously. Yeah. They, have, they miss social cues. This is like their only social interaction in the world. Yeah. yeah. There is a yeah. one question. One question I want to ask you. Beavers wanted to ask it, but his power went out. He can't be here. Uh, Dav made a flag of, and again, I want to point out that the pictures, like Beavers, is not offended by it. He thought it was funny, but there were pictures that he did not send to Dav. How did? How did how did they how did she get those I was trying to pictures? figure that out because I was looking through my DMs with Beavers and he sent me a picture of his foot, a picture of his arm. What? <laughs> 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 what? I wish this was a joke, but it's true. And he can tell you that. No, I have the picture of Beavers' foot too. Don't worry. <laughs> like, I don't. Why? I, I I was like, I don't have a foot fetish, dude. Like, come on. Well, now Fuck, you do. Of course, after seeing that. Yeah. <gasps> Uh, let's see. Is there anything else you got, Core, or Toxic? How but... come you keep on simping for Matt and saying you love him? Why didn't I ever get that? Because Matt gets me, I think. What? I As do? a former addict? Yeah, I can see. Uh. I, w I was addicted to opiates, Ooh. so I had a different high than you. Yeah, but, um, but I can see. I've had friends. I've had friends that were, you know, addicted to meth and stuff, and they go off to the end. And they're they're mostly normal and still they, until they get high they get very manic they get very weird, uh, very paranoid and it felt like that's what you were going through. Mm -hmm. So and it and it was and then like I'm glad you're off it now. I hope you stay off it. Um, is that the plan, Liana? Um, legally, I have to stay off drugs. It, it I've got a somewhere. question. Went, when do I get unbanned? Oh, thank you. There we go. Um, thank you, Liana. Shit. Uh, all right, so here's the deal, Liana, and this is what we're talking about right now. Uh, you're probably not going to get unbanned That's anytime fine. soon, but uh, there's going to be. We're trying to work on this new Discord role called Retard. Uh, you won't be able to talk in the voice. You won't be able to talk in the voice chats. You won't be able to type in the chat. However, you'll be able to call in and you'll be able to come in on stages if you want to. Uh, we can do that for a while, and if you show that you're okay and you you didn't like go off the deep mm -hmm. end again. Then I can, we can talk we can talk about you know like taking that role away and making it normal again or something Does of that nature. If everything, uh, yeah. it's not called it's not called retard role. It, well, I, the role the role is irrelevant. It's just I mean, a, a role to can, like yeah. like yeah. It's just like you know I I feel like you're telling the truth about the drugs and stuff. And that's the issue, oh. right? It's just yeah. we still got it. Like there like I don't know who you really are. So there's always got to be that issue where. You know, you could easily take a left turn at any moment, and here we go again. You know what I mean? Wait, not Zoolander. I can turn right. Wait. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember Zoolander where he's like, I'm always turning right. What? Oh, yeah, like and Keemstar ago. also wants to have a threesome with me and his girlfriend, so fuck you guys. I'm out. All right, where, where, is, where does that come from? Do you actually have <laughs> yeah, the screenshot of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm trying to find the screenshot. Sorry, I I surely have it. It's just I've had to screenshot a lot of shit this month, this week. Um, surely I screenshot it. Fuck, if I didn't, you're gonna have to take my word for it again. Damn it! I'll take. Look, you can send us a screenshot later or something. It's no big deal. Uh, we yeah, really I need it. I think. Uh, I I wanted to ask you one oh. more question, and then we're gonna end it. Okay. <clears throat> on a scale of one to ten, how in love with you are? Uh, how uh, in love with Brick are you? In, in love. love, like love, love. Yeah. Yep. Four. Four. And so it's no longer a bit. You actually have feelings for Brick. Does four count? I'd yes. say that's like, like almost halfway. It's a like, right? You're you interested, like and You're you. Interested. Yeah. Like I'd say, if you guys like, you guys would probably be dating if you knew each other IRL Definitely. or something, right? What Definitely. what what drew Brick to you? He's funny. No, Matt. What drew her to Brick? Well, it was just like I thought you were like flirting with Brick for the bit. Like you were like, oh, there, here's this guy. He's crazy. I can. I'm. I'm crazy. They think I'm crazy. I'm gonna. We're gonna be like a crazy power couple in the Discord or something. I thought that was the bit. I but you actually have feelings for Brick. Sure. Yes. 
Okay, oh, yeah. Nobody's going to get like this breast. Eugene and, <laughs> Eugene and Christy them. Hemi? Or? There we go. There we go. Yeah. But it's like... Or Eugene from Eugene? wrestling. Like, that oh, guitar Trish guy. Yeah, I love Eugene. I could see that. All right, anyway. So so it's not I a mean, bit. Like, You're into In a perfect world, if I could teleport, sure, I would date him. Why not? He's fucking hot. He's an electrician. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. You got uh, any talk- less? You got any less words for the community? Want nudes? Fuck you, homos. <laughs> okay, gotcha. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching that uh, really long but really interesting interview. I enjoyed it. I think uh, we got some insight to uh, the other side. Finally, um, I hope she's doing well, like outside of like the internet and all that. Uh, if you enjoyed, be sure to like, sub, do all that gay shit. Um, comment. Retribution. Comment comment retribution. Hell yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. Listen here, Matt Pitt, you missing leg motherfucker. When I was a young man, Liana took me into the city. I around to touch some grass. She said, dude, when you get home, can you get on disco to talk to Tommy? Tell him I'll show my ass. She said, I'm not so crazy that you all should block me on Twitter and ban me from Discord. She said, will you please help me or else I'll cut myself into pieces to join the Spaz Parade.